Hello, everybody. So in our final lesson of chapter three, we're going to continue working with the idea of repeated addition and our essential question that we should be able to answer by the end of our lesson today is how can you write an addition sentence for problems with equal groups? Again, we're going to use counters to model the problem that I give you. And then you're going to draw a picture of your model. Now for counters, again, we can use regular like yellow and red um, counters. We can use, like in my case, I'm going to use Cheerios. You can use beans, coins, anything that you can set up to represent rows of counters. Okay, so here's the problem. Clayton has three rows of cards. There are five cards in each row. How many cards does Clayton have? So go ahead and set out your counters for that. He has three rows of cards, and there are five cards in each row. Go ahead and pause the video as you set up your counters, and then draw a picture of it on page 161. And then write the addition problem for that model that you drew. And then you can turn the video back on and check your answer. All right, is this what you came up with? So that would be one row of five, right? Well, he had three rows of five. So now I have two rows of five. And three rows of five. Okay. So that's what your counters should have looked like. And so you can draw circles to represent your five. Okay. And then the addition problem would have been. 5 plus 5 plus 5, which is 15. 5 plus 5 plus 5. Okay. So that's how many cards Clayton has. Okay, let's go to page 162. <clears throat> so we can use addition to find the total amount when we have equal groups. So this picture shows us three rows of four, right? One, two, three, four in the first row. One, two, three, four in the second row. One, two, three, four in the third row. So that means we're repeatedly adding four three times. Four plus four plus four. Four, eight, twelve. Okay. We should know that four and four is eight. Right, that's a doubles fact. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, so what is this showing us? Three rows of what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Three rows of 5. So what's being, what's our repeated addition? 5 plus 5 plus 5. That's just like our first problem, right? on page 161, so 15. What do we have here? We have four rows of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so these are rows, right? As we go down, those are our rows. So four rows of four. And from the problem up here, we know that adding four three times is 12, so what's 12 plus four more? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, what is this one showing us? Five rows of what? Well, it looks like there's three in each row. One, two, three, one, two, three, yes. Five rows of three. So three plus three plus three plus three plus three. Well, we know that 3 and 3 is 6, 
and three and three is six. What doubles? When we double sixes, that's twelve, right? So twelve plus the last three, fifteen. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Okay, so we should practice skip counting. Okay. Now let's look at page one sixty three. If I can find it. All right. <clears throat> So find the number of shapes in each row, and then complete the addition sentence to find the total. Total. We have two rows, and in each row there are four. So that's just the doubles fact of four plus four, which is eight. Here we have three rows of three, three, six, nine. Four rows, one, two, three, four, five. So we have five in four rows. So five and five is 10. Five and five is 10. 10 plus 10, 20. Four rows of two. Just skip count by twos. Two, four, six, eight. All right, how much is in each row here? One, two, three, four, five. So we have five rows of five. All right, let's skip count by five. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Five rows of five is 25. Okay, 164. <clears throat> Solve by writing or drawing to explain. There are six photos on the wall. There are two photos in each row. How many rows of photos are there? Okay, so we know that there are six total and that there are gonna be two in each row. Well, in this situation, we want to just add two to each row until we get to six. Okay, so that's two rows of two. That's three rows of two. That's two, four, six, right? So how many rows are there? There's three. Three rows of two for a total of six. Mrs. Chen makes five rows of two chairs and two rows of three chairs. How many chairs does Mrs. Chen use? Five rows of two. Two, four, six, eight, ten. All right, so five rows of two would be ten chairs. And then she has two rows of three. So how many chairs does she have? She has two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. She has sixteen chairs. So we can show that by one, two, three, five rows of two. Two rows of three. So we have two plus two plus two plus two plus two plus three plus three. Two, four, six, eight, ten plus six. So five rows of two is ten. Two rows of three is six. Ten plus six is sixteen. All right, and now. Find the number of counters in each row. Complete the number sentence to find the total number of counters. Okay, so we have one, two, three rows, and in each row there are four. So we have three rows of four. Okay, so if we're gonna skip count, four, eight, 12. 
12 counters. Okay, so that's it for chapter three. Your next part will be the chapter three review. So good luck on your review and your test. So until our first lesson of chapter four, I will see you soon.